excellent welcome to another draft. I will take Tinker first pick. Yeah, we're going to take this Tinkerino. Leroy Jenkins. We were just talking about memes in the chat before you guys got here. Tinkerino. Oh, I like a palace jailer. But I think I'll, if, we're, if we're starting on Tinks, maybe we want Misha's workshop. Hmm. Yeah, I'll take a workshop. You guys like work? You guys like workshop? You guys like workshop? What if uh, what if we want Sundering Titan, Course of Portal? It doesn't matter. It don't. Oh, Coalition Relic. First turn Coalition Relic off Worky. Worky McShoppy Shops. Taking it. Hmm. On color talisman. You know it's funny. Adding the the the, fo the ten extra talismans in here, I don't think they're needed. Now that I've played with both, I'm like, that's eh, too many. I'm gonna take talisman, take magma jet. What are you guys saying right now? Oh man, remember leave Brittany alone? That was wild. Him to Torok has an artifact looking thing in the art. You know, if only that did it for me, man. If only that did it for me. I kind of like Hedron Archive. I like it better than Cold Steel Heart for sure. There's a Splinter Twin. But we're on the artifact train now. Oh, Lotus Patal. <coughs> Cures follower when we have Talisman of Curiosity. Maybe we just take the follower. And, wow, look at our Talisman is moving. That was pretty weird. Let's take this, and then we're just going to hope to get Time Vault the same way we get it every single draft. I don't hate a batter. Oh, I think my mouse just died. Oh, God. I got to plug it in quick. Quick, quick, quick. Okay. Oh, that was close. Yeah, I'll just take Batter Skull. Cashing out Cyber made a million dollars in one day on OnlyFans. So, you know, humanity's doing great. Oh, Jesus. Well, that's something right there. Sort of Feast and Famine? Could be fine. I like it better than Sorcerer's Spyglass. Oh, the Sundering Titan came back? Oh my god. The rich get richer, dude. I mean, I would play Noxious Gearhawk with double blacks a bit much. Maybe we just take Forge Master? What? What is this shit? <laughs> what is this? What is this, Mangucci? What is this fucking Fleet Wheel Cruiser? Yeah, I'll take a champion. Splinter Twin? That's a late Splinter Twin, man. Maybe we should all return to Monkey. <laughs> this chat is like on fire right now. Oh, look at this. The casting cost is one red S X black black. That makes sense. Wow, this pack's wild. Chromatic Lantern. Chromatic Lantern's nice because it lets Misha's Workshop tap for uh, actual colors to cast other spells. I do like Karn, but I think I might like Treachery better. Yeah, we're taking Treachery. Oh, I like an Azorius Signet. Oh, Fractured Identity, though? 
you know, we're going to be fracturing some identities. This guy can get out of here for now. The Immortal Sun? How many Planeswalkers do we have? None? Oh, wow. Immortal Sun actually seems pretty sweet here. Could also take Battle Ball. I think Battle Ball has a higher chance of... Actually, we're going to take Mana Drain because we're not idiots, right? Let's take Mana Drain and we'll take whichever one comes back. Yeah, it's I, for some reason I was used to the old Mana Drain <laughs> that looks like Mana Drain. Or no, it's got the Jace art, I think. Mana Leak. Mana Drain, Mana Leak. Temple of Epiphany. Big Mulls. Could take Rally Zally. If we get... Uh... Nah, I don't foresee that happening. I think we just want Mana Leak. Maybe we want Muldrifter. Let's take Muldrifter. Muldrifter's just... Oh, Grimonolith. Dude, this deck's coming together. I hope this Hengegate pathway comes back. <whistles> Sawtusk Demolisher. Okay, well, that's a thing. We're going to take Mind Slaver, though, because we're not idiots. That was a stressful eight seconds where I didn't see the 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 mana drain. I agree. I agree. Yeah, Hangerback Walker is a guy. I don't care about City of Brass very much. Impulse could be good. They're just taking Hanger Beasy. Oh, Thirst? Sure, I'll take a Thirst. Oh, actually, Chromatic Lantern's fantastic. Man, this deck is looking... Oh, the Azorius Signet came back? So did Factor Fiction, Karn, and Council of Judgment? Oh, Jesus. I mean, we already have Thirst and Muldrifter. I mean, we're just taking Azorius Signet, right? And Battlesphere comes back because... We're actually amazing. Uh, I'll take Mishra's Workshop. I'm not super excited about it, but that's fine. Wall of Omens is actually probably fine. Uh, Deputy Detention is okay. Please use Wastes. Yeah, I don't think you can. That's not a thing you can do. Hmm. Well, nothing great. Karn Silver Golem. That's interesting. Is that like very good? Hmm. I mean, we'll try it out. Sure. What the hell? Three, 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 six, 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 six. Is it non-creature artifact? It is. Not a not six six. There's a sneak attack too? Man. I like Winter Orb here if we manage to get uh Urza. Hell, even if we don't, we have a lot of artifact mana. We're gonna winter orb their faces. <sighs> I like Ugin, I like Cryptic Command. Yeah, we got the mana for Ugin. We'll take an Ugin. Hmm. It's an interesting card. Not sure I've ever seen this one before.
opposition, we're not an opposition deck. I think we're just taking Golos here. Also, we have Chromatic Lantern. Yeah, Golos is definitely the pick. Cut Wall of Omens. Don't really care about you. I don't really care about Champion of Wits either, to be quite honest. Fidalcon Shackles. That's interesting. I mean, for this guy, we only have Thirst and Mana Drain. Okay, we'll just take Shackles. That seems pretty bananas. Oh, look at the pretty bananas. Lightning Greaves is cute. I don't know if I really care about it. I'd rather just have Stone Coil, to be quite honest. Gilded Lotus and Worn Power Stone. Probably Worn Power Stone. We have a ton of... Takes so oh, Blightsteel Colossus and Inkwell Leviathan? Oh my god, we're getting everything. Like, it's got to be Inkwell, right? Like, Tinker and Inkwell's got to be better than Tinkle and Blightsteel. There's a lot more ways to deal with a Blightsteel than there is to deal with an Inkwell. Like, they can bounce this. They can put, they can put lots of things on it. <laughs> I'll take Rager. Revoker, rather. Wrong Phyrexian. I have like three cuts to make. Don't like that. Wow. Alesh Norn came back? Sure. Sure. So we like three cuts here, huh? That's a lot. I think we can cut like batter skull. Cut servitude, obviously. Cut batter skull. I don't I'm not a huge fan of Mind Slaver if we don't have Academy runes. And I'm also not a big fan of Winter Orb if we don't have a way to, like, turn it off. I think this looks pretty good. Thirteen two actually seems fine. 13 for nearly 67. Yeah, sure. Like, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... Five white sources, we need one for this. Actually, I don't even think I care about Misha's Factory, to be quite honest. And we want to maximize our... Um, our islands for our Vidalcan Shackles. I think I think Orb is still fine, but I don't think I'd... I don't know. There's situations where Winter Orb is kind of awkward where you're like, oh, I don't want to play it because, you know, that it's going to make our things not do the thing and... You know. Wasn't Inkwell originally called Inky Winky as a member of the Teletubbies? Did South Park tell you that? <laughs> Got him. Wrecked. Oh, 
wonder if this round is going to start anytime soon. Oh, what up, Haji? <laughs> oh, man. Um, I'm going to keep this. Interesting. I'd rather them counter this if they're putting a. Huh. Thank you. Hall breacher. Okie dokie. Oh, Haji with the resub. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Time twister. No, okay. That's not bad. They missed the land drop, huh? Okay. I think my Mengu Cube record is 2 1 1 2 1 2 so far. I'm not above fractured identitying a Hull Breacher. What was it? Four, five, six, huh? Now, who has the card that lets you not draw cards? Little bit of oogin in my life, a little bit of hanging back on my side. Something like that. Dunzo in the Bunzo. If I had the chance, I'd fresh identity an ornithopter just to prove something. But you have nothing to prove. A little bit of oogin all night long. Okay, that's the end. <laughs> I said it wasn't even a good match. Like, it wasn't even, nothing even happened. Nothing even happened. We could play Sword of Fire and Ice. And Champion of Wits. Do you ever want to call Champion of Wits Champion of Shits? Do you ever want to do that? I bet you do. I bet you do it. So, I, didn't I just mention Sword of Fire and Ice? Am I going crazy? I guess that dragon guy is good? What what dragon guy? Oh, are you talking about Ugin? <laughs> I never, there, there was no part of me that was like, I wonder if he's talking about Ugin. Champion of bits. <laughs> oh, I love it. So I said, I said Sword of Fire and Ice, and then you were like, Buh, Sword of Fire and Ice, baby? And I was like... This frigging guy over here.
We just three three. And next time we can play a Hedron Archive. Oh man, this hand is beautiful. It's beautiful. It's true. Saw your face. What a little bitch. Just kidding. I mean, I'm not. Kind of am. Oh, that was good. See, now we can do this. We can go Hedron Archive. Pew! Into Talisman of Creativity. Oh, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. God, we can almost just cast this thing next turn. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're going to Sundering Titan this turn for sure. Oh, we don't even want Inkwell. We want Sundering Titan so we can go Island, Swamp, Mountain. Hmm. So we have one, two, three, four, five. We can show off that neat Sundering Titan trick on top rank. That's true. Oh, man, if they counter this. Can you imagine? I can't even, I can't even imagine it. I mean, that's what we want. We want the counter. What a fool believes. No one's man. Are they scared of this? What's going on? T -t -t Today, Junior. Who was man? How was He resolved. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Well, the reason away. Whatever. Small risk. Big game. Oh, it worked! Holy Jesus! Where is your family now? <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Nothing you're gonna do is really gonna, gonna matter. Okay. One, two, three. Done. <laughs> Okie dokie. Hull Breacher again. Nope. Four mana. Fact or fiction? It's my guess. Benser? And we also, we lose one island if they bounce this. So then you have three, four, five, six, seven. Uh-huh. Well. Those are your piles. <laughs> Mana sources versus not. Wow, you took the. Okay. I mean, Dak was a good hit there no matter what. They have to have two lands, though. So. No, they got one. Shoot, they're going to steal my guy. Oh, no, Mr. Steal Yo guy. Wait, can we kill this? Oh, we can just eat their food. Love it. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, we're one man shy of doing all the things we want to do.
I drink your milkshake. And my straw comes all the way over here. Okay. Yeah, this could be good. Hmm. Well, hey, little bud. Oh, I guess we could have just cast uh, Inkwell Leviathan, huh? That would have probably been cooler. But you know what, man? That's okay. I got distracted by a little Wallace Ray over here. You want to come up here? Okay. Well then, isn't that isn't that special? I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha, you, you little you little you little biscuit. What are you doing? Well, they're really uh they're digging deep here. We do need a white mana for this fractured identity, but three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh huh. They discarded Crater Hoof. Hmm. Not ideal. So, we can just cast Inkwell, but it doesn't kill them. We could steal the doubt. We can steal the goose. I mean, we could still try. If they want to take two to do it, that's fine. Oh, they did not. Let's crack this because if we draw any land, we can play, we can still play this guy next turn. And now we can play this as well. That's pretty good. Oh dear. I don't know what they have here, but I'm afraid of it. Okay. Is it a primeval titan? Are they just going to play Birds of Paradise and primeval titan this? Oh, 
Well, that's pretty good. Wow, that's really good. Is there anything we can do here? Target an creature. We can make this an artifact, but I don't think we want to. Or we can make it a, a creature. Yeah, all right. That's fine. Not ideal. That, however, is pretty good. So if we block here, we take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we go to two. You okay, Chief? Feel like you're uncomfortable. You wanna get down? You slipping? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. I mean, this is just lethal, so they have to kill us next turn. Oh, I guess they can make a food and eat the food. Put you down. Oh, oh. There you go, little bud. Oh, uh, I mean, if they make a food and eat it, they can still spell skite and and redirect the fractured identity. Oh, no attacks. Okay. Okay. Seems fine. So they're not going to make a food and not going to eat it. I guess they have two mana to make the food, then one, two to eat the food. Tell him you have trick mind. What are you, Kermit, all of a sudden? Interesting. I mean, the thing is, though, like, we still have Battle Sphere here. Which is just a phenomenal blocker. It's round one. Hmm. Block with the goose. Make a food. Eat that food. Remember the time I turned that food into a zero zero golem? Artifact creature? <clears throat> I 
I mean, if they have a, a random blue counter spell, we know they have Primeval Titan in hand and two other cards. So. Hear what Captain Planet has to say. The power is yours. I mean, they can go prime time, get two more lands, flip Nissa, see what they hit. But then they're going to have like one mana. Unless they have a land, then they have two mana. All right, played Forest. We know they have Prime Time and two other cards. Hey, everyone loves Trick Bind. <laughs> Dang. Oh, win that match, boy. Nice, got him. That's how we do. Let's pack your bags, guys. We're returning to Monk. Whatever that means. Oh wow, that one fired quick. Quick. Oh yes. Snap. Snap keep. Sneaper eskies. Does that mean we get to meet <laughs> Shaloop? Yeah. Yeah, we do. And then we'll wait to cast a burn notice and psych. Yeah, I'm just going to put a charge counter on it. Are you winning, son? Oh, well, gee, Willikers, dad. Okay, well, that guy's not going to do anything relative. So, what is this? One, two, three, four, five, six. Here we have six artifact mana, but nothing to do with it right now. Blue. Yeah. Goodbye, mana. Three, four, five, six, seven next turn. So if we can draw like Mere Battle Sphere, that's pretty good, right? Uh fascinating. I'm fascinated. Okay, we didn't draw the battle sphere. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No. Well, next time we get to Sundering Titan, they're probably going to tinker here, which is why they played Stone Quill on two. There it is. And they're going to attack first. Oh, there was no tinker there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Did just Sundering Titan here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. We can play Sundering Titan, but we have to kill one of our own lands because they have a Miscade pathway and not an island. And I'd almost rather just wait until next turn to play this. Because that seems better to me. Because like if they have any removal spell, then we're going to have to kill a second island. And it just puts us kind of far behind. Like, they haven't played anything, and they're playing two very, very uh, responsive colors. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm, okay. Well, I don't know what this is. This is like a blue, it's like a blue-white monstrosity, but with no actual uh, spells to play. I 
I guess we don't we don't have any either though, so you know it's really hard to hard to critique here. Another round. Okay. So Well, we get to play around for spike. Not remand though. Not today. Man, what if the Stone Cold Serpent goes the distance? He's going for speed. See, now I'm freezing. <laughs> There's no balance, man. I just want to... I just want a, a, a normal temperature. Okay. Well, now we're just going to Ugin, I think. I think we can do that. Islands galore. Blue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. My nose is itching. I promise I'm not picking it. I just had an itch on the inside. <sighs> Sounds like you need some iron in your blood. Is that right? <sighs> I'm having a good time. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Mm. Oh my God, damn it. Mm. Okie dokie. Well, Ugin's probably going to kill us next turn. They can deal four, five, six, seven. We go to one. Oh boy. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 3, 8, 9, 10, 11, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I have no idea how we lost this game. They played four spells, three spells, four spells. Or spell. Why are you like this? Win the game, cast a spell, sweep the leg. Yep. Can we draw our own fractured identity? That would be insane, right? 
Yep, go to one. Like we fractured identity of the Ugin. That would be bananas. What was that? Lutri. Oh, Lutri was in your thing? What does this even do? I don't even know what that card does, to be quite honest. Each non-land card in your starting deck has a different name. Okay, so that's just an automatic inclusion in a cube. Cool. Seven here. They still kill us. Okie dokie. Why do you look? <laughs> Why do you look? <laughs> oh, God. I kind of like Drawn from Dreams, maybe. Man, we have Thirst. Like, ugh. Would that have saved us? Yeah, how would it have not? We act, we, uh, we would have been able to play Shackles, activate it to steal their 1-1, one, one, which is their only creature. Uh, we... I mean, I guess they could flash in Lutri. I mean, we definitely had enough mana to, to play Shackles, activate Shackles, and to play Fracture Identity. Like, we had a million lands. I'm just going to play Monolith here because I think saving Mana Drain is probably better. I mean, if they want to if they want to counter this, I'm I'm 100% going to activate Monolith. And actually, I could see an argument for uh, activating Grimonolith to cast this. Then we get to keep up Mana Drain. But th third turn three is not super scary. As far as I can tell. Okay. Well, that's a lot of mana. Actually, I don't even think we do this, to be quite honest. We can just pass and keep up both Shackles and Mana Drain. That yeah, seems fine. Then we get to untap and play lots of things. I have no incentive not to just steal this guy. If we don't like it, we can untap it. Three, four, five, six, seven. 
So six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We can play this for three, and then we'll have three. But then we lose if they do have Mana Tithe, which they were kind of playing around a bit. Get in there with this little, little, little guy. Hey, get in there, little buddy. Kill my Sundering Titan. Yep, not a feeling. Uh, sure. Remand. Sure. You got it. Loo tree in the hand is worth two in the bush. Just gonna keep holding this hanger back walker, I guess. Hmm. Okay. You're targeting the Kithian and not the Vidalcan shackles? I guess that's fine because it's like, I mean, you get it back if if we ever get rid of the the palace jailer. Oh, you get it back if, if we become the monarch. So that's actually kind of funny. <laughs> yeah, Palace Jailer is kind of confusing where like you getting the creature back has nothing to do with Palace Jailer once it's gone. Okay. Thank you. Oh my god, what up, Unseen Spectre? Long time no see. Four years, dude? Wow, that's crazy. What a time to be alive. Really? Okie dokie. <laughs> Seems fine with me. Stoneforge Mistaku. You got it. Is this round two? Yes. 
losing track of my rounds here. Got a GTA. GTA. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. Yeah, there's nothing like tinkering away a grim monolith that's already done its job. It's got to be Inkwell, right? Yeah, of course it does. Why wouldn't it? And now we can just pass, uh, keep up shackles here. Thirst for knowledge? It's going to be a thirst for knowledge. Okay. Like if they attack with colonnade, we just steal the colonnade and then we actually have a, a blocker, which is kind of cool. <clears throat> Sounds good. Pretty sure equals a three turn clock. They're at fifteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Probably just gonna steal Lutri here. I mean, the problem is if they hit a land, they can colonnade us, but I think we're at a point where, like, it doesn't really matter. I don't want to steal either of these things. <laughs> Four, five, six, seven. Sure. I mean, this is a two turn clock now because if they don't kill that. Yeah, I have no incentive not to just attack with both of these guys. Oh, Batter Skull, that's real good. Wow, of course we thought they had only Jitte. Joke's on us. I guess that's fine. <laughs> I mean, it still gets rid of their own creature, and we have no incentive to not untap the shackles now, so. Okay, that's probably going to be good. Their deck has everything, including the Kitchen Finks. I'm here all week. Wow. Wow. I mean, they gained four, but we get to eat it with this, right? So they're going to go to 16. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. They go to 5. Hmm. 
<laughs> oh boy. I don't get to steal that guy. Oh, interesting. We're just doing this to clear off the board some. I guess we could have blocked differently, but I mean, we're just thinking, we give them one card where we're going to get the monarch back, the monarch back anyway, so. Four, five, six. We have eight mana. We're treachering the mere battle sphere. And then we're probably like four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're going to Ugin if we can hit one more land, I hope, because I feel like they're. Okay. So now we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. Honestly, a little afraid of playing an Ugin here. Because I think they've been, I think, I just, I feel like they've had mana tithe, and I just, I, you know, I don't want to really, we just have no incentive to walk an Ugin out here. Give me that monarchy. Give me that monarchy. That's not your monarchy. All right, we know they have Jitte and three other cards. We can only make four colors of mana, unfortunately. Coalition Relic can make like a black green or a red black. We cannot make the fifth color without Chromatic Lantern. They they haven't shown us mana tie, but it's also not worth playing around. Like it's or it's not worth playing into. Like I, I think we're our you know our board state is just as good now as I mean as it would be if we just played Ugin, except we don't get absolutely blown out by a one mana spell. Because when I played Shackles off of like my three regular lands and I had Grim Monolith up, it they paused for a while. Does anything outside of Relic? Yeah, Cole, uh, Chromatic Lantern, which is in our deck. We also have Talisman of green and blue, which means we can make Coalition Relic red and black, so. Oh, I think we're fine. I don't think we're actually behind in any way, shape, or form right now. We still have two cards for, this draws us two cards, this draws us two cards, this takes anything relevant. It's the final countdown. All right, they pull the land. So now we have Jitte and two other cards. Jitte and two cards. Unfortunately, they do have five attackers, so we can actually block everything. Have we trophied? I'm pretty sure we've three owed, yeah. I lied. Uh, 
Jute. Sure. Each player can't cast more than one spell a turn. Sure. That's a lot of things that are happening here. Okay. You got it, little buddy. Oh, it's not lethal. You guys tricked me. Dang it, you guys. Because I got Jitte. I guess they do have to block a lot of things here. Well, yeah. Yeah. It's the final countdown. So we can actually go Hedron Archive, right? And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, that's that's great. That's great. You're killing us, man. Did I just concede? I can only cast one spell. That's a thing, isn't it? That is a thing that we just did to ourselves. <laughs> oh, you stupid f idiot. You absolute idiot. They can only cast one spell a turn too, though, right? Each player can't cast more than one spell. I mean, Wrath of God's fine with me. My hand is stacked. No blocks. Dang, they just keep getting back the monarchy. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna Ugin now. This is gonna be harder to kill though. Can we neg three? What does that do? Neg three doesn't do anything except for get rid of two other creatures. Yeah, let's do that. It's going to get rid of the germ, too, so let's untap. Boy, this game has been a grind fest. So, Eugene.
Is this real? Is this fucking really happening? <sighs> treachery. Return treachery to hand. Copy the Archon. I don't understand how this is really fucking happening right now. So they have to use most of their Jitte counters. That's that's pretty good. Is this power? Well, we get to be the monarch again. Okay, that's 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 helpful. Actually, I don't know how we're like, I mean, we're actually fine, I think. Yeah, we can also just steal this guy before they attack with it. Well, no, we want them to attack with it. We want to be, well, we want to be in beginning of combat, basically, because you don't want them to re-equip the Jute. Well, see what their see what their their madness is now. Colonnade? Yeah, that's fine. Too bad we can't control the Jitte. It's the final countdown. Do -do -do -do. Do -do 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 -do. So just hang with three guys so I get to block everything. Uh, that seems really good for us. Your bird died? You just let your birdie die. Don't give Jitte counters? How do I... I mean, I can't really prevent that otherwise. I mean, like, I don't, I'm not going to let them be the monarch for two Jitte counters. It's not really a, a huge concern of mine. They're tapped out now. Okay. Well, we get to do whatever we want now. Duplicate this stupid thing. Treachery something. Untap things. Yeah, I don't care about that. Well, not if we duplicate this guy. Then we can play as many spells as we want. Let's say blue. Oh God, it's a token one? Stupid dummy. Thank you, Sam. Good call. Wow, good call. Well, that's worse. <laughs> so, Inkwell can get in there. And then we get to play one thing. God, is there no way to get rid of this? Unbelievable. This is actually quite... I think we just take this again, to be quite honest.
Actually, how big of a, a serpent can we make? Three. Four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's a hanger back walker. Dang it. Uh, we could pop the hedron. There's a lot of there's a lot of options here, is my, is really what's going on. I don't know what we can get though. I think one big ass stone coil serpent's probably gonna be really good though. Look, look, guys, look. Played around it all game, and now it's finally gone. I think they might have forgotten about the Coalition Relic. Well, we know one of the two cards in their hand is Soul Herder. No, I think we're doing fine. Yep. Oh, shoot. <laughs> A bisque. Actually, what are you going to do? I mean, this is fine. They can attack with this. Well, like, the problem is they pump it twice in response to our shackles. I guess we just block it then, right? So, like... Oh, uh, that's really good. Yep, that's a good one. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, okay. It is what it is, I guess. These are good draws. Yep, they have to use both counters to do this, which is fine. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I think we're actually going to one here. Yeah, that was a very good turn. We block here. We take two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We go to one. Oh wow. Hmm. Fascinating. Well, we have to chump here or else we die. Not great, Bob. Wow. Oh, God. This one card, this is really, this is costing us the game. And that kind of sucks. Karn? Does Karn actually win it for us?
This could be insane. <laughs> oh, Gotti. Gotti. Man, what a game, dude. What a game. That wasn't, that was game two? What? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Let's bring in a Leshnorn. Oh, we were already playing 41. Oh, no. Good gravy. Oh, get this out of here. Wow, I almost submitted with a cut to ribbons. That's what the problem was. Oh, God. I thought that was game three. Otherwise, I would have played a little faster. Jeez, that sucks. I mean, we have to get some pretty ridiculous nut draw here. Right. Well, they don't actually have that um, keep. All right, we're doing it. We're doing the F6 shuffle here. Okay, turn four tinker. Sure. I have nothing to do. Do they keep like the mono white hand? That's pretty weird. Sure, they're doing it. Hey, look, they got it. <laughs> so aggressive. One, two, three, four, five, six. Mm hmm. Oh, I'm not a dude. Oh boy. Um, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, we know they have four spike though. So. Shackle seems great here. Uh, attack Elspeth. Steal your idiot. They get one play a turn now. That seems fine. Planes. Dang it. Mm 
I just hard cast a spell queller, huh? Sure. Oh. <laughs> sure. Try to play fast. I think we're doing okay in that regard. We have eight, nine mana next turn. We can play around everything. Yep, that's fine. Ugin for four next turn is actually insane. And I'm pretty sure they don't have what it takes to counter it. Oh my god, they discarded a mana leak? <laughs> but they still had a remand. Okie dokie. Um, nope, just pass here. Wow, we still get to Ugin. <laughs> wow, that's insane. Discard mana like keep remand. Seems good. Sure. What? One, two, three, four, five, six. Go to one. No, go to no, go to more than one. Yeah, I was like, why would they do that? Plus, we've exiled it, so I don't understand, like... We got our Karn back and our Muldrifter back? Sure. Yep, that's what we figured you'd do. Go to one. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. If we draw a white source, we can just play a Leshnorn. Wow, what a match, dude. What a match. Oh my god. That's insane. Man, what a game. What a friggin' 50 seconds on the clock. <sighs> oh, man. <sighs> no, the bathroom, I mean, like, all the break music has always been the Fallout 4 soundtrack.
Uh, yeah, always. These are always. Oh my god, turn two Golos. Fuck. Turn two Golos with a lantern, which means we can eventually activate this dude. <laughs> did we have? Did we both wins at one? Because that's pretty cool. Also, a Chromatic Lantern lets us just tap this for normal spells. That's kind of cool. So next turn we go land three, Golos for land four, land five. I guess that's we're still quite a bit of ways. That's fine. Girls, rock your boys. Fascinating. I think we're going to go those first, though. Yeah, we're going to see because I don't really want to get rid of Chromatic Lantern necessarily. There's three, four, five, six, seven. How is it that because because we always gonna we're always gonna have if you draw one you draw both. Alexa, what's the temperature outside? Sixty-seven. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So next turn we could actually. I mean, I am tempted to just tinker here. Maybe get rid of the talisman. I feel like that's got to be better than not tinkering, right? I mean, they got a lot of mana right now. They also have access to white and green, so. Oh, what up, my nerd? Narset, sure. Grab that time twister. Karn. Karn Sliver Jolem. Uh, I've, I've enjoyed this cube. I, I'm, I'm not sure I can speak on, you know, how I feel like it compares to the vintage cube. I think it's good. I think it's a good iteration of a vintage cube and I've, I've enjoyed it so far. That guy doesn't do much, unfortunately. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six mana normally, so we can't activate Golos. And we have eight mana with artifacts, so we can't, like, we're one mana shy from doing all the things. Attack Narset, attack your face. One, two, three, four. I mean, we can duplicate and just get rid of this, but it doesn't seem very good, right? This costs seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Dang it. I mean, Karn doesn't even seem great here. Hardcast Muldrifter. Interesting. Okay, and they're dead. And that was the end of the game. 
I have no idea what they're doing, though. I mean, they feel like they're very similar to us. Let's bring in Revoker. I don't think we have enough creatures to, to play sword reasonably. Like, we have no creature. We have literally no creature until turn five. And, like, I'm just, I mean, like, equipping a creature on turn five with a sword just isn't super exciting. I do like Phyrexian Revoker, though. Might be able to cut duplicates. I don't know what they have. I don't think I like this hand. I will keep this one though. Ship this guy. I was hoping for a two-mana artifact. Or a Mishra's Workshop. Right, putting Inkwell in the in the deck is actually uh, quite beneficial. Yep, that is a good component that we are personally missing. Uh, I'll block. Could also Sundering Titan get rid of an island in a forest, but I don't think that's going to do as much. Inkwell just kind of wins, right? We hope. They are wishing. Wheel of Fortune. Let's do it. Oh, that's it's getting worse. Oh, well, unless you're just going to use that for... Yeah. <laughs> Okie dokie. Oh, interesting. Very interesting. Um, we can play Azorius Signet into Karn. Three, four, five, six. We can also go Worn Power Stone, Azorius Signet, Revoker. Yeah, let's do that. And we'll name Karn. Karn, no, Urza rather. This also gives us three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana next turns for just a natural Ugin, which is pretty, pretty cool, dude. Uh, that doesn't do anything because we still control, like, it doesn't, it still can't, you still can't use it. And now we get to neg five, which we were going to do anyway and just get a little more value off the, 
three, four, five, six. Oh, we're one shy. I'm stupid. It's unfortunate. Unless we draw a talisman. That would be a good draw. Talisman would be amazing. Hedron Archive or Talisman would be great. Land. Oh, you got to counter this. Sure. That's probably game, right? We block here. We take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mm, not game. Hmm. So not... So wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We go to one. Let's see what happens. I mean, if they just have nothing, then we do get to Ugin. And we do get to wipe the board. Come on, have nothing. Oh, fuck. Well, they don't have Nar set out, so we are drawing cards here. Oh, we still got the Ugin back. <laughs> it's okay. We're living the dream. Living the dream. Sure, that's fine. It's all fine. That's fine too. 7-7, seven, seven, you got it. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Come on, come on, come on. Don't be anything. Fuck. Keep the workshop tapped down. Tap down that workshop. Yeah, that's that's right. Now we're negative sixing, and it's gonna be bananas. We are at one again. I don't even think I want to thirst here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, they're tapped out. They are tapped out. Um, <laughs> that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana, huh? And I'll give you Karn and I'll give you Wheel. Because you can only cast one of these. And that's what she took. But in order to use wheel, you have to use four of your seven mana. Oh, I guess you can play Karn, but that doesn't do anything either. So I don't know, man. This is oh, Narsen and wheel, but then you're, but then you're dead. Oko, okay. I feel like they're dead. Oh my god, what these games have been insane, dude. Sure. I uh Yeah. <sighs> Guess you had to hit that guy.
Not sure there was anything we could have done differently. What was their life at? Because if they were at like three, we could have actually just shot them and not... No, because they still had Inferno. Like, eh, I guess that doesn't... Or, uh, yeah, I don't know. Six? Okay. That's that's fine. Oh, man. Jesus. <laughs> um, I'll keep it. I'll keep it. It's got a lot of potential. Especially with a mana drain. Workshop into Golos is nice. Got another island. We got a planes in hand. If they want to go Oko, it's fine. Like we can start pressuring Oko. We could also Phyrexian Revoker. Phyrexian Revoco. Oko, Thief of a Crown. We're still going to attack Oko because I just don't feel like... Uh, I don't feel like I'm getting rid of Revoker and start, and then, you know, activating Oko again, so. Plus, if they play anything that costs four, we just get to slam a Nugan, which is pretty cool. Or three, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, we're just doing this to play Ugin. Yeah, if Ugin counted as an artifact, it would be pretty broken. I agree. Frost Titan? Yeah, that's fine. Like we get to go, we get to Mull Drifter in negative six to get rid of this. Well, that's going to be good next turn. I mean, we get to ultimate this, so I actually, you know, we kept it around for one more turn because we can easily block here. Mm-hmm. Hydroid Crassus, okay. I care less about that. So gain seven, draw seven, put up to seven permanents. Okay. Oh, boy. Uh, Sundering Titan, Worn Power Stone, this, this, this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
Um, hmm. These are the questions. Let's take Frost Titan. Okay, we just win the game. Thank you guys for watching. That was a pretty sweet victory. First trophy, really good. What's going on, babe? Thanks for watching, everyone. Why does she do this? It's nice to see you all. Oh, here. yes. Wonderful. What did we get? We got a Loxodon Gatekeeper. Ugh, we don't need any more gatekeeping in this game. She's right. Thank you guys for watching. She's going to sit down. No, she's not. Okay, good. We're going to get out of here. Thank you guys so much. Family walk. Appreciate you guys. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I'll see you next time.